In this video I'm going to be showing you how to activate the Packer Punch on the new map Forsaken. To start off with in the spawn area known as the staging area I recommend that you build up some points here by just remaining here and killing zombies that spawn. There will never be an end wave here as it keeps switching through the waves just don't remain here for too long or else you'll go through the waves too quickly but this is a great way in order to build up points to be able to buy up all the rest of the map very quickly. Also while you're here I highly recommend you go and buy Death Perception as this will be very helpful later on during the process. If you head over to this teleporter over here and interact with the panel next to it, you have to wait 30 seconds for it to activate. Once it is activated, you will then want to walk up to it and interact with it to teleport through it. Once you've teleported through that teleporter, head up to the top of the checkpoint area and then jump down into the main street. And then you should notice at the end of the main street, there is another teleporter. You can choose to either go left or right here. It doesn't matter which you choose. The way that's more useful in my opinion, as you have access to quick revive this way, is to come over to the right hand side. Once once you get up to that teleporter and go through it, you'll come over to any town. Once you've teleported into any town, you'll want to make your way through the rest of the town, past the burger town area, up into the fuel processing area. You should notice another teleporter here at the back, but it's broken and currently will not work. You now need to go and find four parts located in this town area. These parts are always located in the same buildings every single game, but their spawns do differ in locations within these buildings. When picking up these parts, this is where when I said you should buy death percent this is where it will come in handy and actually be very helpful for finding these parts as you will be able to see them highlighted through the walls for you. So one of the parts if you come over to the Burger Town area and come inside the Burger Town itself and if you jump back over this counter here you will then notice that the part is over here and this is the fryer cage. Another part can be found inside the cinema if you come into the cinema area my part is located over here on this bench just in the corner of the room. Another part can be located in the TV and radio store and as you can see it's over here on the shelf. And the final part is located in the video store first floor back room. If you come over to the arcade and open up this door and come through into this room here, you'll notice that my part is over here on this box. Now that you have all four parts, head back over to the broken teleporter and walk up to it and hold your interactive button in order to repair it. Once it's repaired, you can then teleport through it. Head over through the amplifier room and when you get to the back of the amplifier room where it says teleporter, you will notice that the brand new enemy type known as the abomination will spawn in. You will need to kill the abomination the best way of doing this is to wait for its heads to glow blue and then simply just shoot at the heads until one of them blows up watch out for the lightning attack that it shoots at you as this does a lot of damage so i highly recommend you stay far away from the abomination when killing it once you've killed the abomination head back over to the teleporter and use it you'll now be teleported into the observation tower if you now head through into this next room where phd cider is located you can see the button that you need to interact with on the terminal there use your interactive button to push the button and lift the lock down. You will now notice in the other room just behind this terminal there is the Packer Punch sitting there waiting for you to use it. You can now access the Packer Punch and Packer Punch your weapons as much as you like. Before I end this I do also want to mention that you are timed when inside this room and eventually if you stay in here for too long you will start taking radiation damage. If that starts to happen simply go through one of the teleporters up in the observation tower and then you'll be okay and you will no longer be taking damage and then if you want to come back you can just use the teleporter to come back into this room once again. Otherwise that's all there is for this guide. I hope you guys found it useful. If you need another guide to Forsaken I'll have a link to it down in the description as well as the pinned comment. And other than that I will see you all in the next video.